these are the tires is running. They're really terrible on asphalt and uh, they're just as bad on the dirt. Bye. Hi everybody. Welcome, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rex. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the MF01X from Tamiya and running it. The chassis designation MF01X by Tamiya is a mini four wheel drive shaft driven chassis. I got a lot of videos talking about it. It's really cool. It's got sections here and another section that's missing from here that you can change out. So right now this is in a long wheelbase setting. This one's in a medium wheelbase setting. If you take a look, it's got this piece of plastic and a smaller piece. This one's got that same piece of plastic and a bigger piece. So these center pieces you change out to make different wheelbases. Long, medium, and there's a short. And they come with a bunch of different body options. They come with a Jimny on a medium wheelbase. Comes with a Ford Escort on the long wheelbase. Also, a Rally Beetle on the long wheelbase. And one I don't have, this little Mercedes 320. So this MF01X here was the Escort in a long chassis. I've since shortened it by changing that plastic piece in and purchasing a medium length drive shaft. I've got a bunch of videos already showing how this car drives kind of out of the box. I did make a few changes, but now I was ready to make a lot of changes. And I've made a lot of changes. And I thought I'd talk to you guys about it and then we'll go watch it drive. Something I forgot to do on this one. I'm going to go do that maybe before, before I continue. But if you take a look at the arms, there's a lot of movement here. And that'll change the caster angle of your hub. Not by a lot. And does it make a real difference? I don't know if I can feel it. It's arguable. Arguable. But it's something. So shim those. That's something you can do. Same with the back. All right, so I just want to go ahead and show you the slop that was in here. I didn't add shims to this side yet, but I did on that side. I was able to add half a mil plus a 0.25 mil, making 0.75 millimeter shims in back here. And now there's no play. Well, I mean, there's stretch play, but in comparison to this here, nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and do that to this and the rear. So I originally got these because I thought they'd be cool little rally cars. And they reminded me very much of the TL01 from Tamiya. And these are really fun to watch uh, in factory mode to drive and they work. You can always make it better. Example, here's factory suspension. Here's oil dampened and tuned suspension. So if you've watched any of my other videos, I've talked about how how much this car feels like it understeers because of all that weight at the back giving it traction. And I even locked the rear end so I could get it to come out more on the dirt and loose stuff. When I first bought the car and started driving it, I realized right away that it's best suited to smoother dirt surfaces. Rocks are not a good thing for this. Not because of drivetrain or anything, but it's because of ground clearance. Right now I've got the fuller scale, fuller size, one tenth scale wheels on this because that's what the Jimny takes. Otherwise they'd be the small wheels like this. And with these wheels, even in a rally setting, you do have some ground clearance, but the wheels are just, it's just really small. It doesn't handle rough terrain very well. I guess you could make it handle rough terrain better with super soft suspension. But if you soften the rear suspension anymore, you're going to give that rear end even more traction and giving you even less steering. And that's sort of why I started messing around with this car. There might be uh, possibly some mini driving on an outdoor local track, a pop-up track. And that kind of got me in the mood to make my MF01X handle better on the asphalt. So I took the car out after I had converted it from, it was this. Uh, it's in the medium wheelbase now, and I like using these tires. I like to tune my cars 
for how they look. So example, I'll pick the wheels and tires and then tune the car to drive with that. I won't get better wheels or tires just, just to make it drive better. I like the way this looks. This is how I'm gonna make it try, try and drive, unless it's really bad. So first things first, uh, I took the car out and I drove it around with this body, which is much higher than this one. And boy, can you tell, it started it started rocking back and forth and everything. I had super soft suspension all around before, and it was neat how it drove differently right away with this with a, a different body. I did have it set up in the higher mode. If you know anything about the MFO and X's, you can change the ride height uh, based on how you screw the knuckles in. There's two positions, so you can actually have it mounted lower for more ground clearance. I actually brought these hubs back down to road mode, so it's lower because I did have some issues with rolling and flipping over with this body. So I lowered it. I found that it did a lot of understeering all over the place. So I took out my locked rear diff. I tried it in the front. I knew that wasn't gonna help. It was only going to stabilize it more and make it more understeery. I tried it anyway, and yes, that confirmed it. Front lock diff, no good. Rear lock diff was good for steering, but too much on brake and too much when I was aggressive. It was allowing the rear end to rotate around too much. Great on the dirt and I loved it that way, but it wasn't really good on the asphalt And I want this to be able to drive on and off-road light off-road and that'll be easy to do because it's got the bigger wheels So ground clearance isn't a huge issue. I soften up the front shocks by quite a bit The springs are from what came on my M08 super soft. I think they also come on the M06s These rear springs are a lot stiffer than what I had. I also stiffened up the rear shock oil I also reduced the rear camber by about uh, quite a bit, actually. I think it was more than two degrees camber. And now I'm down to half a degree of rear camber. So we stiffened up the rear end, reduced the rear camber, softened up the front. I had a 24 tooth pinion gear in here and top speed was great, but I really didn't need all that speed and the motor was getting quite hot. So I threw a fan on, reduced the pinion to a 21 tooth and I brought it back out and what a difference. I should have recorded this before I did the changes, but you can kind of see it in my other videos. It understeers a lot unless I gave it a lot of gas or swung it around. I did it in tarmac and I did it in the dirt. This one now you'll see on throttle, it still has steering. Coasting, it's got lots of steering. Off throttle, it'll, it'll go around hairpins pretty easily. And that's all I've done so far. Yeah, let's, let's go play with it. Quick recap, it didn't steer very well. It didn't steer well off throttle, it didn't steer well on throttle, didn't steer well anywhere. So now because the front end is so soft, as soon as I'm off throttle, or anytime I make changes to the front, the soft suspension is allowing the weight of the chassis to move over and push down on that side. From here on out, if I want to touch more, in theory I could even go stiffer. It's a fine balance between the two. Stiffer because it'll push the wheel into the ground, and softer because it allows the weight to roll onto that side. And that's where you got to find a balance. Let's go see how it drives now, and we might have to make some changes. I'm sure we will. Let's go. All right, we're outside now. It's the next day, and this is, uh, I've come up with a little bit of a track to test my cars. I usually pack up my stuff and go to a parking lot, drop a track, and test and tune my cars out there. But I've come with a little course here to just test the steering. You know, I want to know how good, how well it stops and turns. I want to know how well it uh, flicks itself. I want to know sort of all these things. So I've come up with something right here. Again, like I said in the video earlier, uh, oh, why is it turning left all of a sudden now? Okay, Okay, so I've already said it in the beginning of the video what I did, but I've stiffened up the rear end a lot. That way it doesn't lean as much and it can be thrown around better. And I've softened up the front so that it grabs the ground, as you can see. See, it's gra I, t I turn and it's turning now. It did not do that before. Now it's got like a one foot turning radius. It was three feet easily before. All right, here's my course. I just want to see how well it takes, it breaks and takes corners.
Oh, oh, when I hit that lip, there's traction rolled over there. Anyway, so that's basically the uh, what I do. I imagine there's a long, big rally course here and there, and I make sure there's long straights, there's some tight turns, there's some sweepings, and, uh, and that's how I judge it. And I spent probably, I mean, when I say two days, there's only an hour each day, but I spent two days worth driving and tuning and I've come to here. The first day I came out here with this thing, it was flipping and rolling all over the place because the body was too high. And then I brought the suspension down, the, the road mode, and started working from there. After that, it wasn't steering very well. It was very understeery. And I started working on that with the springs and everything else I mentioned in the video. As you can see now, it's turning very well. And it doesn't roll out there. I can flick hard. And it doesn't roll. It slides rather than rolling. It rolled easily before. There we go. The rear is stiff enough now that it's not catching. Oof. It doesn't like bumps. That body definitely has a higher center of gravity. Anyway, that's the video. I'm doing stuff. Let's go see some good action shots. This is awesome. If you've uh, seen my other MFO1X rally video, you'll see that it, uh, to get it to slide around a corner, I really had to get on the power. But it doesn't need to do that anymore. Yeah, I'm not getting on power. Steady power. Look at this thing turning now. No need to power over. Beautiful. No power over needed. Nice suspension tuning. Turns now. Let's do a floral pattern. Yeah, that steering's awesome. Lots of steering now. MF01X. I'm sure I'm not done, but I'm done for a while for this one. All right, well, make it a great day. Peace out.